Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today I'm going to be working on some beginner wood burning projects and ideas. So if you'd like to join me, then please keep watching. I wanted to start by showing you the wood burner that I'm going to be using. This is one that my son got me for my birthday last week and it is from Walmart and I think it was right around $20, but it comes with the wood burner, this little stand, the box has ideas of what you could be making and it also shows you the tips and how they're supposed to be used. It also has up here the temperature settings that you can use for different materials. And these are the attachments or the little tips and you want to make sure you have pliers to attach them and take them off. And obviously you don't want to touch any of the metal. You want to keep your fingers behind that plastic piece. And I'm pretty much experimenting, but you're going to find when you first start that you want to go slow when you're drawing your lines. It makes it more consistent and um, darker. If you go fast, that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> and it's going to take some getting used to. You're going to have some um, heavier spots, some dots, some, you know, almost looks like burnt holes. But you can do any kind of pattern. You can do lines. You can do dots. You can do so many cool things. I'm going to be experimenting with um, the attachments today. And this is the little temperature setting for mine. Like I said, mine was from Walmart. And I'm going to start by doing a simple flower. And as you can tell, as I was playing around here, the faster you go, the lighter the lines will be. And so far, this is probably my favorite um, tip to use. It's just a little bit easier to learn. <laughs> and like I did there, I stopped in the middle of a line and then it gives you like a nice little burnt spot. But I'm going to be covering that up so I'm not worried about it. But this is all just fun and experimenting with. If you've never done it, like me, don't start with a really good piece of wood and then be bummed if it doesn't turn out. So I'm just doing a little bit of shading. And the longer I held it in spots, obviously, the darker um, the, the lines got. And then to do shading, I just went really fast and um, light handed and it seemed to work okay. And I'm going to show you how this looks um, colored in here shortly. For this next idea, you can use pictures from a coloring book or any kind of a picture book or something that you printed off the internet. And then you need a little bit of the graphite paper or uh, carbon paper. So I just found this one online. I just went to flowers and free printables and a bunch of them come up and I thought this was probably the most simple for now. So I'm going to lay my carbon paper down and then trace, you know, whichever flower you would like or whatever um, picture you're doing. And I'm not going to trace it exact because um, I'll probably do like my own shading and stuff. But if you're not good at drawing, this is a great way to do it or stencils like I showed before. So then, and I put the that rounded tip back on because that's the easiest for me to use right now. And I'm just gonna get the the basic shapes down, and then you can go in and shade or use the other tips, you know, for different um, maybe lines you want in there.
And then I'm just going to do some shading. Kind of like I did before on my free hand. You could leave it really simple like that. You could do a darker shading behind. There's so many fun things you can do with these that I'm really excited to experiment with. So the one my son got me comes with three different stamps. And you just do the same thing. You just hold it down. I thought the little tips were cool. They could be used as borders you know, around the piece of wood or anything like that. There's so many ideas. So then you could also use something like this, just like those wood rounds that you can get at the craft store and then some sort of stencil. Now you don't want to obviously use the wood burner right in the stencil because this would melt very fast. <laughs> So just what you want to do is trace it and then go over it like I showed you with the flower with the wood burner. Then I'm going to give this attachment a try. I like the round one a little bit better but I wanted to try this one out. Cause like I said I just got this for my birthday from my son. So the different woods burn differently. This one is going to go really fast, as it seems like. I'm a little bit nervous. So I know this one will probably work great for doing freehand letters and other things, but I'm going to switch back to the round one because that's the one I work better with, you know, as a beginner. I'm sure as you get, you know, more used to it, you end up doing more even lines and not so, so bumpy. What I have noticed though, when I like pull it towards me, instead of away from me, it glides a lot easier. So I would love to hear if you're somebody who normally does wood burning and um, has some tips and tricks that you can share with uh, me and everybody in the comment section, that would be awesome. Because with this being, you know, pretty much my <laughs> first time using this, I don't really have any, any fantastic tips or anything to share. And also, if you've done wood burning before, what is the best wood that you've found to use? The easiest or what burns more even or faster? So I change out the tip again so that I could um, have a bigger area to shade this in. And don't forget when you're doing, oh, I just did too big of a spot. <laughs> when you're changing your tips, you want to make sure the whole thing has cooled down before you change out the tips. So this definitely requires patience, which is going to be hard for me. And after doing this, I realized you want to go in one direction. I mean, it does look cool if you go in all different directions, but if you want it to look um, you know, professionally done or more uniform, you want to go in the same direction, kind of like you would painting, but this is the first time I've done it on this wood and basically the first time I've done any kind of wood burning. So I'm just experimenting and kind of showing you my mistakes so that you can learn from them and you don't make the same mistakes. So after I finished that, I thought it would be cute to use this stencil and you could, um, you know, draw that on and then use the wood burner if you want, but I wanted to try and do it with some paint and see what it looked like. But I wanted to try it with some paint because I thought that would be really pretty. And then I just rinsed it off and flipped it over. And then you could do little cute little flowers, but 
I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what you could do. And if you didn't want this so rustic looking, you could fill it in so that it was just solid and you couldn't see any of the color, the wood color through it. And you could always seal this, put a hole in it, put your last name initial and hang it on your front door. There's so many possibilities. You could make really pretty gifts for really not a lot of money and something that the person can keep forever. <laughs> you could do other like like a landscaping picture or <laughs> you know you can draw animals or whatever. These were really fun for me to make these trees because really you can just experiment and be really creative. I do want to practice more on some landscaping pictures and maybe actually um, somehow do like silhouette pictures of people. I think that would be really cool. But I want to practice with these landscaping pictures because they're pretty easy and forgiving. So if you've done wood burning, what is your favorite type of wood burning project to do? Like, do you like um, drawing people or landscapes, flowers or whatever? Do you like doing, um, you know, letter signs? I know this is a little bit different of a video than I normally do. Um, but if you're liking it, give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel and my videos. And also in the comments, let me know what you would like to see next, what kind of projects or ideas you have. And if you're new here and enjoying this video, I would love for you to subscribe and join our YouTube family. And don't forget to pop into the comments and say hi. So for this one, I wanted to experiment with a rose and I wanted to draw it out first. So it was a little bit easier to um, use the burner. You can do letters. Um, some of the other tips are better for it, um, but I need to practice with those. I have a lot of practicing to do on my letters. Also, if you know of any wood burning DIY channels, I would love if you left them down in the comments so I can watch them and learn a few things. I'm going to color this and see how it works while my wood burner is cooling off so I can change the tips. Painting it would probably be really pretty too. So here's what that one looks like after it's been colored. Not too bad. You can make it look really cool if you put some time into it and you could do like green leaves. I think that would be really pretty. And then after my burner and the tip had cooled off, I went ahead and changed it to this tip. And don't forget to use your pliers. It just goes in a little bit easier and straighter. And you definitely want to make sure it's cooled off or you could ruin the tool and the tip. But this is the one I used for the petals on the rose. I thought it was really pretty and they looked like petals to me. So I was doing some experimenting and just doing different um, shapes with this tip.
And this one was a little bit silly, but I saw this stencil sitting in with the, the other stencils I used earlier, and I wanted to see if I could do this. This tip I'm not very good at using yet, but I wanted to try it. But it, it did give it a nice like feathery look when I was done, so I thought that was cool. And this is where I'm going to end the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe learned from my mistakes. Also, don't forget to leave me your tips and tricks in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. I'm sending you love and hugs and I'll see you next time. Bye.